What's up, fellas or and girl, women? <laughs> um, you know, I've just been thinking about something last night. How this whole thing came to be, how people really in this century became worse in a way, in many ways really, more uh, egocentric, more spoiled, more, you know, selfish in a way, and, uh, yeah, so, um, Yeah, I mean, uh, sorry, just got a mess. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, I think it just has a lot to do with the reality TV. You know? That's where it started, I believe. And, uh, yeah. Because, you know, before you can only, like, you know, you could, on you could only see people on TV that were really famous in a way in for something in the uh, yeah <clears throat> that were that were there for a reason anyway that were on, on TV for a reason that had a, had their place there but then suddenly you know there were already uh, reality TV existed even in the 90s however it wasn't that big you know it was just quite innocent stuff you know and uh, but however in the beginning of this century it started getting bigger and bigger and uh, and meaner also yes definitely <clears throat> and uh, yeah it just uh, was uh, then I think something happened with many people that they started, you know, really like, they got into it, obviously, it became very big. And why? Why? That's something. <laughs> I don't really know the answer. But I think just many people really liked watching other, like, everyday people on TV, like themselves. They could, of course, they could re relate to them much better than famous people who were much richer and, uh, you know, lived a totally different life. <laughs> yeah, so in that respect, it was something positive. However, as I said, first, those reality TV shows were not that bad, <laughs> you know. They could even be sometimes entertaining. However, they got worse and worse. And they got meaner. Then they they introduced, of course, all these, uh, like, Big Brother, you know, Bachelor, whatever. Uh, all these shows where people were, you know, where the entertainment was consisted of either, you know, doing stuff like, you know, sexual stuff or fighting, quarreling, you know, a lot. <laughs> and uh, as people, I think, just couldn't get enough of that as they started watching more and more of that, that's when the kind of corruption happened, I think, for many. And they just got... I mean, if you watch people behave really bad, if you get used to it, watching people, you know, really behave totally, you know, shitheaded, you know, <laughs> uh, then, you know, eventually you will start probably behaving at least a little more like that yourself. That's how it goes, you know. You know, monkey see, monkey do, that's, that's how, it, <laughs> that's a really, you know, valid saying. Very true, very true. Only those with higher intellect, of course, they will never watch that stuff. Or, I don't know, just people who are very, like, uh, maybe religious. And, yeah, of course, I can see that 
watching a bunch of uh, young people, you know, engage in a drunken, you know, and wild behavior, behavior or de debauchery. I believe that's how you say it, debauchery. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like really getting, you know, and fighting really in a in a really mean and petty way and uh, quarreling and sometimes physically fighting. Yeah, just got worse and worse, you know, as the the century progressed. Definitely, it did. Yeah, and. Um, that's why it's, of course, to blame for the, the things as they are today, you know, that many people are just, uh, I would say especially women and younger women. And all this started, of course, as a trend with uh, Botox and, you know, uh, silicone, and fake lips, <laughs> fake boobs, everything. It ha it was there before also, but not in, in a nearly that much, that, that high degree as in this century. And the Kardashians, of course, came along. And she was Kim was the first celebrity where that I that I could remember that was famous for just being rich and being from a family that was kind of famous because her father her late father was a lawyer you know of some celebrities like O.J. Simpson and stuff like that and uh, yeah so. Uh, yeah, it is uh, what it is, you know. So I was like wondering when I f first saw her picture in uh, whatever in an article, and I was like, "Who is she?" Like I never heard of her before. Then I would look her up, and I would wonder why why is she famous? Like just for being looking good and you know being rich, like, and that really sucks, man. When you become a celebrity without really deserving that, there is no worse thing than that. You know, it's a privilege that you have to earn becoming famous, right? Becoming a celebrity. That's a privilege that not everybody can or should be, you know, granted. Definitely. There must be something to either talent or you know others yeah talent mostly and achievements you know whether it's in the field of entertainment or sports or science or whatever it is your journalism it is something that you have to earn but then suddenly we saw all these and then of course all these goddamn you know American idols and those talent shows, they made it even worse. Like, suddenly we've got somebody you never heard of and suddenly he or she are a star, just like that, you know, like, <laughs> because they won, won an American Idol contest or X Factor, whatever, you know. And, uh, yeah, so obviously reality TV has a lot to blame for it. Uh, corruption of, of youth especially of course in the 21st century that's a no brainer you know <laughs> of course I mean and uh, you know since then I mean I remember I was talking to somebody about this 2004 you know and he was like I wonder when this way will end with reality TV you know? And I'm like, yeah, probably not in a long time, buddy. And that's what happened. I mean, it still hasn't ended. I don't know if it ever will. <laughs> probably not. It's only that, that since then, YouTube has gotten bigger, bigger. And now we have TikTok as well. So now, you know, it's not just about that. Now it's also about the streams, live streams and yeah. And uh, yeah, videos and stuff. But 
yes, just it should not be so easy to be become really famous and successful, but in today's world and society it is unfortunately too easy. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of an instant celebrity, you know, <laughs> that like you know, it's like it's been produced in some kind of machine, you know. Yeah, you might say it is. It's a machine. It's all a machine, big entertainment machine that uh, has really no heart, has no soul. Really, it just spits out new, new stars like every year or so, you know. And uh, I mean, we see them now. Some of these stars have struggled also. These instant stars, instantly made. Such, for instance, as Demi Lovato. I know, let's use her as an example. I know she's had really bad episodes, like she's been in the hospital and, you know, whatever. I mean, I know also Ariana Grande has had problems as well. And, uh, yeah, many of these... Uh, even though she didn't become a star by being on a reality TV, she was first, of course, on a Nickelodeon show in Victoria and, uh, and uh, then she started singing, you know, became a big singer, a star. And, uh, but she also kind of got there a little too easy, I think, because way back, still in the 90s, it was that way. You had to at least have, like, a you know, you didn't become a, a big, big celebrity after your very first record, except except just only a few people, you know, that were like, for instance, George Michael or, you know, Michael, well, not even Michael Jackson, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, there are a few that have, but have made it to like very fast, but they were really talented people, really talented. So, but now you don't have to be like, there's, there comes a, a, a new name every, like, every goddamn year or two. I, I just, <laughs> I can't keep up, you know, with all those names. I don't know, like, like just last night, you know, on my live stream, we were playing this game, Mary F. Kill. And somebody brings up some name, you know, and I'm like, who's Lizzo? Like, well, <laughs> turns out she's a star today as well. And yeah, all these funny names now, you know, Lizzo, Doja Cat, and uh, what's the name, Cardi B, and yeah. But the kids love it. <laughs> they will always love it. Not just the kids, some of the adults as well some mature people and uh, fair enough but uh, they should just be skeptical at least a little you know the criteria have gone down and that's the, the worst thing so that's why we have so many what I call fake stars and we yeah definitely so uh, yeah I don't see <coughs> an end to that really I don't see. And, uh, yeah, that's very bad because some people who are more talented cannot make it as as big anyway because they are not a part of this wave, you know, or this machine anyway. So, you know, when I was like 20 years old, I used to, you know, have dreams of becoming, you know, a musician myself maybe one day. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to anyway. Not that I thought that I would succeed, but I, you know, I thought I had some talent anyway. But yeah, now, now, like, or only a few years later, I just, when I saw how bad, how corrupted, how terrible the music business has become, it's a soul e eating business so crushing business i would i said no way never in a thousand years i'm never never be a you know a rock star no way 
So, yeah. So, anyway, reality TV is just... It's, it's a disease, I would say. We need, need to get rid of it. It's about time and, uh, yeah. That's all I can say. Anyway, thank you for listening. Bye.